What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk makeup. Today I want to review the new MAC Patent Paint Lip Lacquers that recently came out. They sent me six shades to try out so I want to try them on for you here today, share my thoughts on them, and then also compare them to what might be a sneaky drugstore dupe. Bonus, I want to do all of this in kind of a throwback 60 second review style because I feel like we can get you the information you need and then give you more time back to play with makeup, you know what I mean? But because we have a lot to cover today, I do want to ask for just one more minute on the clock, so it's going to be a two minute review, but it's still pretty fast, no? So let's go ahead and get started. So the Patent Paint Lip Lacquers retail for 22 bucks a piece. There are 14 shades within this collection and overall, as a product goes, they are supposed to be an all-in-one lipstick and 3D is what they're calling it, 3D high shine lip gloss. So basically like a pigmented lip lacquer. They have a really silky but substantial feeling texture, like they're a little bit thicker than a gloss, but really slip and glide across the lips. There's definitely no stickiness to this formula at all, which is great. Because the last thing you want out of especially a pigmented gloss formula are those strings like going in between your lips, you know? It is because of that silky texture that I think these are also a little bit more prone to getting on your teeth. So before you walk out the door, just make sure you do the old lipstick check because sure enough, I still have a little bit coming off on my hands. And this reminds me, these stain. They're supposed to stain your lips. So the great thing is even after the finish wears off, you are still left with a really beautiful looking stain on your lips. It's like a lip color that keeps on getting Giving, you know? They are very comfortable feeling on the lips. Like even aside from the whole slippery texture, they just feel very hydrating and moisturizing after they've worn off and you still have that stain. My lips don't feel like they're craving any additional moisture. You know what I mean? Let's now move on to the comparison because I feel like we are running out of time. So these struck me as being very similar to the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit formula that I tried a couple months back, maybe even a year back at this point. I have a whole swatch video if you want to go see them. But these are also a combo high shine gloss mixed with full pigment lipstick. The main differences I would say, aside from the price point, is the cat suits are considerably stickier than the MAC. I didn't really have a problem with that texture, but now by comparison I can see just how much more slip and less sticky the MAC are against the Wet n Wild. The other difference is the color range, although the Wet n Wild is very broad. Again, comparing it against the MAC, it really lacks some of that high pigment pop to it. There are certainly some deep shades in here, like these from Wet n Wild, but even as I compare like say this red, I thought these would be very close matches, which are Bad Girls Club in Wet n Wild and Eternal Sunshine in MAC. Eternal Sunshine is just so, so vibrant when it's actually worn. So if you want to explore this texture, you haven't really done this whole hybrid lipstick lip gloss sort of thing, I do recommend you check out the Wet n Wild in case you want to give it a try, don't want to break the bank. But in terms of texture, especially if you are very anti-stick and and you really want something that packs a pigmented punch, and maybe even offers a little bit more in the way of a shade range, definitely feel free to give the uh, MAC New Patent Paint Lip Blockers a go. Whew. Okay, that was a fast one, and I haven't done one of these in a while, so I really hope I made it under the time limit. My palms are kind of sweaty, my heart's kind of racing. Like I said, if you want to go check out the review of those liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild, I will put a link, uh, well, just click this box down here below. And if you like this kind of format, let me know, guys, down in the comments below. Are you getting enough information? Do you like this shorter time format? Please let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.